come and share his story uh, in the first 30th part of the program. Namaskar, How is everyone doing today? I want to say great. <laughs> so I'm really uh, excited and glad to be here. I wanted to thank uh, Manish Ji first uh, to reaching out to me to see if I'm available and available in this day to come and speak in front of you. And uh, also the Samriti Foundation. I've spoken actually before here. And last year, in November, December, I want to thank the Samriddhi Foundation for doing a great work, for getting all the entrepreneurs together. This is what our country needs today. And this Pachi, um, also special thanks to Bidwa Ventures. He is a really great entrepreneur who I met uh, last year also, Vidan Ranaji. And he, uh, we had a great uh, talk. Uh, he started uh, Entrepreneurship banda pani paila venture capitalist ko zaruri huncha. Jati tapai hala chai yora foundation dine, yora financial help dine. Yora baata dekha ne manche so I really want to commend him for his work. Uh, he's doing a great job. He's expanding, and we all have to support him. And my support is with you uh, in Nepal and also in uh, USA. <coughs> and also thanks to uh, entrepreneurs for Nepal E4N. So we are somehow connected with the movement for change. So I've also, you know, our logo is M4C. So you are E4N and we are building an organization M4C, which we will, I will talk a little bit and also Jai Zee will talk a little bit about it. So before we start, um, personal background, uh, professional background, this was the political background. Uh, mostly, I'm sure you are here to hear my story about the entrepreneurship in America. So I'll focus more on that, a little bit about my personal uh, uh, political life. I was born in Indrasak, before I was born, my, my father passed away. And I was born in the struggle and success. I was born in the struggle and success. I was born in the struggle and success. Because education is the foundation for success. I mean, so seeing her struggle and succeed and I grew up in my grandmother's house and they are two pillars of my life. And they showed me three things. One thing is hard work. You always have to work hard regardless of what you do. If you work hard, you will succeed one day. And they also showed me that dream, don't dream small, dream big. And for to dream big, to be successful, you need to work hard. And also these two things is not enough, but you need to also have a vision for what you want to do. And then that vision will guide you and take advice from people, but you are the sole responsible for making your own decision in your life. Rather than going to India and Pakistan and Bangladesh for my engineering studies, I want to go to America where I can build myself and become somebody tomorrow. On a very risk, very challenge, I have a vision for a student, I have a very strong work for a student, I have a very strong work for a student, I have a very strong work for a student, I have a very strong work for a student, and I have a very strong work for a student, and I have a very strong work for a student, and I have a very strong work for a student, but that was a reality. And I also wanted to come back to Nepal because I was missing family, the country, and culture is very different. I actually, within like two weeks of my arrival in uh, America, I organized a uh, uh, state forum where I invited uh, you know, uh, the people, the citizens, and the professor to Nepal and Nepal. I had a tea program program. अनि करीब चार वर्ष धेरै संघर्ष गरेर धेरै मेहनत गरेर आफ्नो मेरो लाइफ चाहिँ कामबाट क्लास र क्लामबाट क्लासबाट काम मात्रै थियो मेरो 
दो घंटे ये तक काम करने चार घंटे उतार काम करने का तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग से सकाय एंड आई वाज वन ऑफ द यंग एस्ट आल्सो टू ग्रेजुएट इन 1992 आई वाज ऑलमोस्ट वाट 22 इयर्स ऑफ़ ओल्ड एट दैट टाइम अन्य आप लोग इसे अब तो जब अमेरिका गोल्फ वार्मा पे गोल्फ वार्ले को Green card for the like that. Okay, when I have it, I was a student. This is how. But that is because I work for me. When I go, one year for the like that, I think the American government. So I had one year for your like time frame here to basically get into the labor market and get the experience and then you know settle myself by getting a green card to moving ahead in America. So that is because I was directly a manager. Career. I never gave up. I continue to correspond with the companies and calling them and. Persuading them, and I'm better than American. You know, I'm coming from Nepal, you know, one of the poorest country. Look at what I have done. One other company, I convinced got on day. And it's in my company, fine. The kind of software engineer, engineer, inform my test engineer, but I'm going to have a career, first career start. And the first earning, say, my day, they American money, poverty. I worked for a food service or what call it from back here. Starting salary was almost like two dollars seventy-five cent mati tio. Tadi benda macam itu. So it was very hard. It was very difficult to live, right? Tadi 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 malah insurance puni pun dah ada. Health insurance puni. Tapi puni awak tadi kira mungkin aku tolak kari satu dollar, dua ratus dollar ko pay check awak dah kiri. Ekdom khusi untuk ni. Oh ho, satu dollar ko mana ko? Kami ada tiga ratus dollar tu kira awak. Nampai. Mungkin Nepal mana tadi mana kau kau masuk tu? Mula mana? Kuk khusi untuk tadi benda. So, satu satu penny puni save kira awak. I was able to move around the company and gain a lot of experience. So if you want to move up, you have to move around. You cannot be stuck in one place. I look for a change. I look for a change. I look for a change. Always looking for a change and challenge has always been with me till today. From the day I was born till today. And then, when the company was changed, the VCR was changed, and there was a struggle. So, when I was in the engineering, I had a lot of personality, marketing, sales, and all the extra work. In the engineering, I had a lot of design, and I had a lot of management engineering. The company was changed, and I had a lot of marketing. I had a lot of marketing form. I had to gain some educational background, so I went and did my MBA. On the MBA so I got a marketing or finance or focus or whatever. This was the I first got a marketing job in a company called Tektronix, the Tek Portland, Oregon. So that is where I say it cost to keep one of the company. That company was very highly successful and it's a world-renowned scope for company, the oscilloscope. So if you are in electronic business, you somehow use the scope oscilloscopes from Tektronix, company called Tektronix. So. Where uh, the company was growing, going through the exponential growth uh, during the 90s go phase, the 90s phase, man, say, that there was a huge boom, as you recall, uh, optical boom by that. Like, uh, internet is high, or Internet, because internet actually pushed the optical, uh, like copper fiber, fiber, uh, copper, man, say, so electronics, so this was the copper, but change, but fiber, man, you know. So fiber optics was really booming at that time, you know. और तब एक ओ वन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सिक्स में क्या बाइक की स्पीड्स और और इतने नेपाल में भी नहीं आई मुझे आई थिंक फाइव फाइव ट्वेल्व वन गिग में और के दो सोमिया जस्ट लाख सर तो दिस इज़ बैक इन नाइनटी सेवन एंड नाइनटी एट तो तब वाला अमेरिका में टू फिफ्टी सिक्स में क्या बाइक की स्पीड थी so 2 gig, 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig, 32 gig, you know, 64 gig को जवाना बही रहते हो। So optical was very booming। जैसे government ने फिर एकदम spend कर रहा था। Electronics वाली company बन चुका बही रहती है। और तीन अलग और आज क्या बोलते हैं यो emerging product line वाले रा start कर रहा था। Which I led that product line, especially focused on optical boom market, right? अन्य जैसे मैं Zero level they keep budget lack or amile. We built that uh, uh, department to almost uh, 20 million dollars within like two years time frame. This much I may not got it up. I'm engineering for resources or can engineering resources now. I flew to Japan 
and uh, we built a uh, uh, really great relationship with Advantage when the company here, Sharp when the company here. The Netlight company, they were really leading the whole optical market in the world. So we brought those companies to USA also and a joint venture match in everything. Every other equipment for $400,000. So the entrepreneurship time when you get them are soon seeking. If you look at the map, East Coast, the Montreal, Canada, Florida, that was really called just the West Coast, the Silicon Valley War, and the East Coast, the optical value one. And the ETI company started back at the ETI company is amazing. And the country has gone through, yesterday, the founders are like, they are like, they are like, they are like, they are like, venture capital like they basically write their business plan in a piece of paper. They throw some piece of paper, they go and meet with the uh, uh, venture capitalist in a restaurant and walk out with the, like $2 million, $3 million to, uh, capital to start their company. So that phase, that whole region had gone through so much booming and I learned the first day of entrepreneurship from them. How they build the company, how they build the uh, skills, uh, how they hire the people, this is a of the And I have no career for the already bottom of the And yes, thing, one thing, I have a key. I have a key. I have a It will never end because I've seen people, you know, working like almost 50, 60, 70 years, you know. And they come and go they are very happy, they are laid back. I was earning pretty good money and managing a big company, you know, traveling across the world. I was earning pretty good money. As you recall, uh, your know, floppy drive Zunthini, you remember using in the computers, you know? and this floppy drive is obsolete wire, you know, obsolete wire uh, it was replaced by the jump drive. You know? uh, jump drives and memory cards are the business that we start with. And the company is a company, PNY. Almost had second or third market share. On your business, I mean, say, my say, yes, we had that company with camera that can be busy taking a rookie, they could not even fulfill customers' demand, customers' requirement. You know, was the Afghan company they built for your time on but Manchester, New Jersey, my build for your this was it. He basically grew that company within five years' time frame from zero dollar to almost like three hundred million dollars. The company did the bill. And Taipani was left the tea, got up the demands and meet Gonos of the When we had a company called like Sandisk, Wire, Lexart, and they were the big guys, you know, big name in the flash memory market, you know, Samsung Bio, and Toshiba Bio was also in the business. And it was about $4 billion per market. And he was not even that smart. He didn't know the technology, you know, he didn't know the technology, he didn't know the technology, he didn't know the electronics. What he knew was working hard. He was a Jewish guy. Right? He was working hard and he was very good in putting the team together, the brains together. And then they said he got a recession, 300 million dollar company within five years, my guru got a success on it. My company is a company that just demand a little bit of a success. They demand a little bit of a success. My company is a company that 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 is a company 